good morning and welcome to today's vlog i'm very very excited it's been a month i think that since i've really i really done a good update i just took a break for a little while from vlogging um a lot was going on we had a hurricane ian come through and thankfully we didn't get hit as hard as they were thinking that we would originally. Me and Chip were stuck at the hospital. And so Nora was with my parents for about a week and we stayed at the hospital with Sam. Those muscles relax and then he doesn't feel the need to throw back anymore. Mm -hmm. So the more that we can have him. <laughs> Look at you! But so like I have, I'm not, because that will help with our, huh? do we want to try um, him on the boppy either like, only <laughs> say while that was going on, Nora ended up getting sick and we got her back and she had like a stomach bug. Me and Chip slowly got sick after that. Then we didn't go to the hospital for a few days because obviously we didn't want to take anything to Sam. Then amongst all this of us being sick, I got a call from the hospital that Sam ended up having three episodes in one day where he would turn blue, he'd bear down, and he would stop breathing, and they would he would desat. They had to change a lot of his feeding, like his respiratory support they were changing, and it just felt like we were going I hate it when people stare, it is so awkward. It was just really hard because it was like we were making, finally making some progress and then it's like he just was not doing good. He had an episode two during the hurricane while I was holding him, was sleeping so well while I was holding him and then he woke up, stiffened up and turned blue. We had to put him on the bed, desatted, heart rate went down. Anyway, they know how to make him like respond quickly afterwards so that's good but it's just been really rough. I had like a mental breakdown. I was doing random things like leaving our car doors open. I was not locking our door at home. All these things around the house I would start and I would never accomplish anything. I felt like I couldn't have converse, like full blown conversations with people. My daily tasks were just really hard for me to do and I didn't understand why I couldn't do these things it was like a mental block it was so crazy and I just had a breakdown and I've like talked to a therapist and things but honestly I'm just being honest I've been depressed throughout this and it's not like it's a depression where I struggle with it every single day most of the time I do pretty well but then sometimes it's like it builds up and I just have a breakdown and I start to not be able to function normally and so it's kind of just like this emo emotional roller coaster, and I'm thankful it's not something that I deal with every single day, but I do deal with it a lot of the days. And I just took a break um, from filming. Let me just say, the past two weeks, Sam has been doing so well. I've never seen him this happy, this playful, this comfortable. He has made it to his lowest respiratory support that he's ever had, which is a huge deal, and he's made it to the highest like intake of feeds that he's ever had either so he's almost to full feeds and as of today it looks like Sam could be coming home in the next two weeks I cannot believe it he's off all of his medication that is through his pick line so like any medication he has right now I can go um, they switched it to where they could put it in through his g-tube so that we could go home and be able to do that through his g-tube they're hoping to switch him to wall oxygen this week which is what we would go home in, with is wall oxygen so they're literally prepping and doing everything they can each day like s small increments to get us home next week we should be doing like our cpr classes we have to be trained in how to do everything with his g-tube the way that we would at home like use it at home and we have to do a room in with him which means like me and chip both have to be here for 48 hours while they like watch us care for him so they know that we can care for him in every way possible doing all the things to discharge we are so excited we're so proud of sam i cannot believe it's this close 
but I just kind of wanted to share what's been going on and where we've been the past month and kind of just consolidating the whole past month to like one vlog. <laughs> We're just so thankful for God and his hand on, hand on our family. I'm so excited. I can't believe it. Oh, also, I don't know that I officially said I like dyed my hair or colored my hair at home. It was a lot of maintenance, I feel like, and I've been doing my hair for like four years now at home. Wanted something easy. I wanted something that when Sam comes home, I won't have to do a lot to it. Left it to where it still had some of my blonde coming through, so it's like a bronze color, and I really do like it. I'm actually really enjoying it, but anyways, I did do that, so that was fun. Let's go see Sammy boy. Almost home, buddy. Almost home, huh? Hey, Baba. And it's hard to wake up now. Hey, <laughs> big yawn. You're licking it, huh? Okay, he you likes it, it like that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Let's see if I can give him something not hilarious. Yay, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're having fun, huh? Excited for a bath? Are you excited? <laughs> Are you smiling? <laughs> You're the happy boy. You love baths, huh? <laughs> oh wow, you're kicking so much. Happy Sam just to kick in. Hey Sammy boy. He's fine. The he's fine. Okay, so it has been a crazy two days. It's October 20th and it's a super big day because yesterday he tried bottles again for the first time in four months and all he did was lick it but it was a positive positive experience and that was a really big deal so that was exciting and yesterday he also made it to full feeds which was a really big goal this week and today he is on wall oxygen which is what he will come home on so we're super proud of him let me show you like what I mean whenever I say that and you're Sammy boy He's just snoozing right now. But before, his nose cannulas were larger and they were attached to these tubes that went to this ventilator. Um, and now, he has these smaller nose cannulas and this is super lightweight and it's attached to like the wall. Um, so it's like wall oxygen, but eventually he will be on like the actual oxygen tank thing. And then we can like push him around the hallways and everything. But this is a huge deal and he's doing so well. And isn't he the squishiest thing ever? But anyways, that's a super huge deal. And so now everything's gonna start going a lot faster and we will be, he will be out of here really soon. Things that we have left, he's got to wean some on his wall oxygen. He has to be at the same rate that he'll be when we go home. And he'll have to get his pick line out, which like is on his thigh, his thigh that's had medication going through it. Right now, there's just like clear liquid going through it so that the line is open and can be used if they need it. That happens and he's gotta do a car seat test. We have to do CPR class, learn about giving his medications and stuff like that. And then we'll room in which means we'll like stay here for 48 hours overnight and take care of him. So 
I'm gonna stop because Dr. Case is coming back. Hey you guys, so we have started the room in process probably almost three hours in and we have to be here for 48 hours. They just have to see that we can care for him, give him his meds, give him his like feeds through his G-tube, that we know what is all going on, what his, what's his schedule and how to care for him. And right now he's doing the car seat test where he has to stay in the car seat for 90 minutes and not desat and just have, you know, a good old time, which that's not too hard, huh, Shammy boy? You're into it. Yeah. Are you a handsome boy? Yeah. You're so handsome, huh? Chip actually went downstairs to the cafeteria to get us some food because we're supposed to be here for 48 hours and one parent has to stay with Sam at all times. So Chip went down to get us some food. He's bringing it back up. Right now it is Friday and we finish room in on Sunday afternoon and then Sam comes home on Monday afternoon. We cannot wait. It will be October 31st, the day that he comes home. We're so, so excited. We already did our CPR class. We already got all of his medical equipment. He already had his last MRI and lab work done. He had his hearing test done. He's at full feeds, he's on wall oxygen, so he's hitting all of his goals right now to be able to go home. And pretty much the car seat test was the last thing he had to do. The rest of it is stuff that we have to do. So yeah, but he's doing such a good job, huh buddy? Are you doing such a good job? Yeah, such a good job. And he's back with the food. <laughs> watching daddy eat are you wanting what he's eating oh buddy <laughs> We just did the last meds for the day. They're at different times throughout the day. But his next set is like at three in the morning. So like around 11, we'll start his feats again. So we'll do this throughout the night and I will try to remember to film some of it because I want to have fun to remember what these last days were like. So far, we're doing pretty good. I think me and Chip make a really good team and Sammy Boy is just so happy. So we'll see. How the rest of the night goes we have like alarm set like i'll show y'all i have alarm set for like meds and his feeds he feeds six times a day right now and then his meds he gets them at like five different times of the day and it's different medications at different points of the day we give his meds through his g-tube yeah, it's actually really simple. He doesn't have to swallow them or anything. It just goes straight into his stomach, which is really nice. well we barely slept hence I didn't even put makeup on today I just don't even, it doesn't matter we're just gonna be at the hospital he slept great he slept the whole night he didn't wake up through all the diaper changes he had some lab work done 
he's kicking a lot, so that's why his alarm's going off. With him, it was just like us figuring out the feeding pump, figuring out his medication, how to put that in. And then it was just like, you know, they had to come in and do labs and that just like kind of woke us up too. So we just like didn't really sleep last night. I'm hoping tonight will be better. They brought in a different chair for chips so he can have more of like a bed. Ooh, buddy. That was a big hoop. Oh, the alarm is going off. For your medicine, are you smiling? Okay. Yeah, your alarm is going crazy, huh? Oh, you chicken. Oh, sweet boy. Yummy boy. What do you see, yummy boy? Yeah, oh, we. Be, 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 be. Good job, yeah, buddy. So close to the castle is out of sight. Reaching for the boy. As well as a line, we lose track of time. And a pad, no, we climb. Oh, dreamy, breezy. Yeah. So yeah, this is his pump. I don't know if I've shown it, but we put the milk in here. Do this little thing. And it goes to his tummy. Anyways, thank you for coming to my channel and we are so excited for Sam to come home. Say bye. Bye. Can you wait? We'll see you in the next one. Bye.